This is a 16 row repeat worked on a multiple of 10 stitches plus 8. I have 28 stitches here for this sample. And most of this, as you can see, is just stockinette stitch. I'm not going to show you those rows. I'm going to show you rows 7 and 8, which are the ones where we make these little flowers or daisy stitches. For row 7, and you might find a crochet hook useful for this stitch. For row 7 you're going to start by knitting 2 and now we're going to do the first part of making our little daisy. The second stitch on your left needle, which is this one here, you're going to look down 3 stitches below. So we have one two, and three. This is the stitch that we're going to be pulling up all of these loops here, these long loops. So we're just going to go right in here. Pull it up and just leave it on the right needle. Knit two. Now we're going to come back to that same loop and pull up another long strand. Now we're going to knit two. And one more time we're going to go back to this stitch and pull up another loop. And this is the one that is kind of tricky, where you might want to use a crochet hook or possibly your left needle to get in there and pull that up. There we go. So that's one made. Now we're going to begin our repeat. And it's knit six. And now we're going to make another daisy. So go into the third stitch below the second stitch on your left needle. One, two, three. Just go right in there and pull up a loop. Knit two. Go back into that same loop and pull up another strand. Knit two. And we're going to pull up our final loop here. Knit six. Okay, and one more time. We're going to make our little daisy. Knit two. Pull up another loop through that same stitch. Knit two. One more time. Knit 
to knit the last two stitches. So what you have is something that looks like this. For row 8, start by purling 2, and then we're going to begin our pattern repeat. We're going to purl 2 together, purl 1 twice. So here's purl 2 together, purl 1, and then one more time, purl 2 together, purl 1, and now we're going to purl 2 together, purl 5. And our repeat again. Purl two together. Purl one. Purl two together. Purl one. And purl two together. Purl five. And then when you get to your last nine stitches of the row, you will purl two together. I can get it here. Purl one, purl two together, purl one, and then purl two together, purl one, one more time. So that was rows seven and eight. Rows 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 are all worked in stockinette stitch. And then for rows 15 and 16, you'll be doing pretty much the same thing that we just did, except it's offset a little bit. If you look down here, where we have three of the flowers, that's rows 7 and 8. And then up here, where we only have two, these are rows 15 and 16. You'll just be knitting a few more stitches and stocking it at the beginning and end. So that is pretty much the process. You can get the written pattern by clicking on the link under the video. And that has the entire written pattern. You would just repeat the 16 rows for the pattern.